Now for number 15, it says that there is A, okay, with the element of A, B, C, D. Then there's B with the element of A, E, F, G. And C with the element of D, E, F, H. And the question actually asks about what is the, the number of element that present in the A union B complement of the bracket A C complement D right so for this particular setup is that we have to understand the the symbol of each so this is the union right where the element you combine it together this is the like the intersection where if A union something meaning that uh, what is the element that is common in these two uh, two sets? And this is complement, meaning that what is the element that is not inside the another set? Okay, so basically we just calculate this. So A union B is the element of A, B, C, D, E, F, G. Because union means you combine these two things. Okay, and now... We should calculate uh, the C complement B. So C complement B, meaning that the element of C that is not inside the set B. Okay. So the only so the element that is uh, C complement B is that D uh, and H. Right, and for A intersection C complement B, intersection means the element that is common between these two sets. That is only the element D. Okay, so the answer for A intersection of C complement B is the element D. And for A union B complement D, meaning that if complement meaning that the element that is not in the set of this so the answer is a b c e f g so this answer is element a b c e f g which is there are six elements so the answer is d okay and now for number 16 that you have gx equals 3 gx minus 1 over 2 minus x they ask about 2, the inverse of g2 uh, squared. So in here, we just, you know, uh, try to find g the gx. So we just move it there. Equals 3gx minus 1. And then uh, this is moved to here, become minus 1 minus x. gx equals minus 1. So gx is 1 over x plus 1. Okay. And because they asked about inverse, we just inverse that. Okay, the inverse of this is minus x plus 1 over x. Okay, and when we put the x substitute with 2, so g1, 2 is minus 2 plus 1 over 2. That is minus 1 over 2. Okay, and I squared it. It is 1 over 4, so 2 times 1 over 4 is 1 half. So the answer is the option B. And now we have to number 17, where logarithm base 9 of 6 minus 3x plus logarithm with the base 3 of 9x squared equals 5 over 2. And now from this, you see that this is logarithm 9. So we could make that into logarithm 3 squared. And then the 2, you can put it outside. So it's logarithm, half logarithm with the base 3. And then you can see that this is multiplied. You can actually separate that into 2. Right? So logarithm 3, you put the half back into the content, become root. And then plus 2 plus logarithm base 3 x squared equals 5 over 2. So logarithm 3. 
6 over 3x root x squared equals half. Okay, and now you can make the half into the base of logarithm 3 equals logarithm base 3 of root 3. So basically, root 3 over 6 minus 3x x squared equals root 3. And if we square that, it becomes this way, 3. And now you can see that from this equation, if you put the value of x equals 1, you can see that it is turning into 3. Okay, so the answer for number 17 is x equals 1, the option C. Now, for number 18, it says about a over c minus b equals 4 over 5, b minus a over c is 2 over 5, a plus b is 28, so c is what? Now from this, we could make calculated 5a equals 4c minus 4b, in here 5b minus 5a equals 2c, okay? And then we could... Uh, Five B minus two C equals five A. So this is five A. Five B. Then we could actually eliminate the C so that we got the variable A and B and we could find A and B with this twenty eight. Right, so we multiplied it by 2, so 5a equals 4c minus 4b, and if we multiply it by 2, 10a equals minus 4c plus 10b. We plus it, so 15a equals 6b, so a is 2 over 5b, and now with the value of a plus b is 28, so 2 over 5b plus b equals 28, 7 over 5, b is 28, so b is 20. By that, a is 8. So, we can we can get the value of c, right? For example, we use this. So, that is a over c minus b is 4 over 5, we, with a is 8, c is 20. And now from this, we got c equals, uh, this is 2, this is 10, is C minus 20, so C is 30. The answer is option D.